Going undefeated in college football nowadays is a tall, tall task. Since the creation of the playoff in 2014, only three teams have gone 15-0. 2018 Clemson, 2019 LSU, and 2022 Georgia. But now with the expanded playoff coming in 2024, there will be a new ceiling, 16-0. So today, I will be trying to take an awful 0-12 college football team and transforming them into a dominant team going a perfect 16-0. I posted a poll for this video, and you all voted for me to take over the Mormons in BYU. And the new head coach of BYU, Coach Christian Jebediah, is tasked with doing what some made deem is impossible. In order to go 0-12 year one, we will have a 60 overall team. And for recruiting this video, we can only recruit three-star prospects until we win 10 games. Then Coach Jebediah can go after whoever he desires. Going 0-12 to 16-0 seems daunting to many, but not Coach Jebediah. He has confidence he could do the unthinkable and bring BYU a perfect college football season. Perfect season. 0-12, exactly what I wanted to see. 0-9 of the conference. We really just couldn't stop anybody and we couldn't score. It's a recipe for sucking. I really don't care if any of these games are close. I mean, we lost to two FCS schools. It doesn't really matter because I wanted to go 0-12, which is something I don't say in any other video. But yeah, we only lost Oklahoma State by 10, so that's cool. And on the trail, we actually have some pretty decent commits. Now, there's only seven guys committed as of right now, which is pretty sadness. But I mean, this is going to be a really good quality class. As you guys saw, we, we got... Oh, is that Tommy Shelby's like grand-grandson or something like that? I doubt it because he's not even from uh, Europe. But maybe he uh, immigrated. I don't know. But yeah, regardless, this class looks really good for a first-year class quality-wise. Players leaving stage. Fortunately for us, none of these guys are very good at football. I wonder if some of these guys are going to turn Amish. I've always wanted to be an Amish for like a day or something like that. I don't know if I could do it for like a month though. An entire lifetime as an Amish person? That'd be very challenging for Tanner. I don't think I could do it. Only one transfer. Kendall Bannister from Ohio. The Bobcats. He's originally from Woodbridge, Virginia. So yeah, he's coming on over to BYU. Oh goodness. Where is BYU at? Is that one of the Dakotas? I think it might be Idaho. I don't know where BYU is at. I gotta do some research. Man, I despise this dude. I feel like sometimes it make me wear an Ohio State jersey. We're going after Kalen Bord... That sounds a lot like Bordeaux. I'm just gonna say it's Bordeaux, so I really hope I can get this kid. Also, Sam Carter, 6'5", 220 pound, outside linebacker, and then Alex Plate. I like that last name. Do I think I'm gonna get all three of these guys? No. Do I hope I do? Yes, because we don't have enough points to go after any of these other guys, so yeah. Just please let me get these three. We did not get Alex Plate. UTEP went hard in the paint for that guy. We got Sam Carter, though, and Caitlin Boudreaux. Yeah, that's how you say that. I thought it was Bordeaux. I think it's definitely Boudreaux, but the rest of the guys, we did not get. So this is the class. It's very small, kind of like something else that I'm not gonna admit to, but yeah. All in all, dude, it was not the best class for us. I don't know where these two guys came from. I think that was like the CPU doing that, but yeah, this class isn't anything great quality-wise. I mean, depth-wise, I mean, the quality is great. I don't know why you said quality-wise. It's the depth, dude. There's only like nine good commits. The two guys down here, they're awful. Kaylin Boudreaux, stud from Hugo, Oklahoma, so he's from the middle of nowhere, and he's a ginger, so he's got a lot going for him. Bryce Shelby, Thomas Shelby's great-grandson. You cannot convince me otherwise. Sam Carter's really good. Tau Frazier, athlete jay Hunt. i mean these guys are all gonna be good players in a few years oh this guy's a 6-8 outside linebacker me likey that's awesome definitely not ranked very high 104th ranked class we went down in a team prestige not shocking at all. We're probably going to go down next year, too. I don't think the team next year will be that great, but we'll see. Year two for Coach Jebediah, and the team's not awful. I mean, it helped that we had some young guys that were pretty decent on the roster already, but yeah, that recruiting class we just had is going to help us out a lot this year. We have a number of guys that are going to be starting from that class, so I'm really happy with the team. Caleb Boudreaux, six foot two fourteen. We just recruited him. You guys know about him. 81 speed. He's a pretty good athlete. He's got really good acceleration and agility. He can throw the football pretty well as well. I mean, this guy's going to be a stud in a few years. He might even be really good this year we'll see clearly it was not gonna be the season we go 16 and 0 but three and three there's definitely progress we actually beat a big 12 school so good job to us our points for and points against is clearly a lot better i mean we jumped up 17 overall because i think last year we were a 60 so things are definitely going in the right direction coach jebediah beat charlotte and virginia who are both very very trash and we got smacked by kansas and kansas state it's not very nice of those two then we beat houston got destroyed by a baylor so all three of our losses are just not very close this week though we're playing boise state on the road they have that cool blue turf which i absolutely love it's so sexy but yeah this is not gonna be an easy game I'm pretty sure it's a rivalry so i'm excited for it huh it's been a defensive slugfest for us i mean we're only down three points which is the bright side so we just need to score right here let's get the lead boys i know this is our backup quarterback i have no idea if he's fast or not oh we don't even need to find out good job let's go aiden down seven we're still in it which is nice but they have the ball and uh it's not looking that great for us if they get a first right here we are screwed so hand off yes it is okay we know it's coming get to the outside okay tackle tackle ta or get ran over 
Twice. Yeah, that's GG's, dude. Gosh dang it. Finished four and eight. Not a good season. I kind of expected us sucking again. I mean, we're only 77 overall. I don't know how he finished above Houston, who's an 88. That's just one of the many things in life that don't make much sense, but I'll take it. Lost to West Virginia by 26. Uh, Cincinnati only by seven. Texas Tech only by three. And then TCU only by six. So some close games there, but we did end the season with a win, which is nice. As for recruiting, it's a lot like the last year's class. Like there's some good quality here. It's just there's only seven commits, which I think is the exact amount of commits we had last year after the regular season ended so definitely sucks i mean at least all these guys are gonna be good players in the future it's just there's not that many of them oh thank gosh dude bryce shelby thomas shelby's great grandson he tried to transfer thank the heavens dude coach jebedai is a very convincing lad and he made the right choice good job bryce thank you dude for the graduates we are losing some decent players like isaac rex is the sweet last name i think that's a dinosaur right t-rex yeah uh talmaji gunther that sounds like an amish name i'm telling you dude some of these guys are gonna become amish i don't really know how that stuff works like i said I mean, I see the occasional Amish person in my uh, state of Ohio. There's an occasionally some horses and stuff like that driving on the road. You just have to go around them. It's crazy how they don't use phones or cars or anything like that. It's very intriguing. It's an interesting lifestyle. And now there's Chess will say, Dave for Coach Jebediah. We're going after Dalton Curl because uh, he's a pretty good athlete. We don't really need Julius because we already have a punter committed. Jeremiah Scotty, we should be able to get. Same with Ryan Euler and also Elikana Pakahi. I made sure to put some points into those three guys just to ensure we get all of them but yeah we'll see how it goes i mean i did put 3000 on elijah but i'm not feeling that confident please be coach jebediah's lucky day please please oh my god i was worried about that elecon he's not going anywhere we didn't get dalton oh my goodness at least we got jeremiah ryan and elijah but we did not get dalton or ali Kana. he's not even coming here dude he stayed in hawaii i don't know who could blame him i mean there are volcanoes which makes hawaii kind of scary but there are beaches too so i guess it kind of offsets so that makes this a recruiting class only 10 guys this is a lot like the class last year i don't think it's as good as a class last year now the class last year only had nine guys that were actually decent players this class has 10 but the thing is the class last year had a lot more quality so it's very important that we convince Bryce to not transfer because if that would have happened that would have really screwed the pooch on this whole thing we got going on right now Brandon Wallace is a Juco which is unfortunate but he'll probably start either this year or next year he's a decent player Jeremiah Scott he's also really good he's a kid from Utah Brandon Ertle Dawson Humphrey Ryan Erlert uh Elijah Grissom from Utah I mean there's just a good blend of every position once again the recruiting rankings are just trash not very good 114th ring class I doubt will ever be rated this low for the rest of this video when it comes to recruiting because Coach Jebediah, he is just heating up right now, man. He's only getting started. The team for year three for Coach Jebediah is looking pretty solid. Like, there's a lot of young guys still on the team, so the future should definitely be a lot better for us. At least, you know, I hope so because it better be. If it's not, then we're screwed because we need to go 16-0. and And believe me, this team is not good enough to go 16-0. and There is no chance. Kalen's back at quarterback. He only went up plus four overall, which sucks, but I can't really, like, force him to pass like I do in other videos with quarterbacks because we also have another a really good young guy Bryce Shelby at running back and I promised him all those things and I don't want this guy to transfer so he's gonna get the ball plenty 5'10 208 he's Tommy Shelby's great grandson you cannot convince me otherwise he's a really good player and for the schedule this year we got some fun matchups playing a rival Boise State I think I'm gonna play them for the rest of the video I love this rivalry also Utah State another rivalry might do the same there we got Baylor Iowa State Kansas is ranked says West Virginia huh Cincinnati's pretty okay Kansas State's ranked says TCU I mean there's a lot of big 12 teams that are ranked but most of these teams are probably overrated. Like, I doubt their overall is that high. So, I'm sure we can maybe pull off some upsets this year. Coach Jebediah, you dirty dog. Let's go, man. Four and three, two and three in the conference. I mean, our points for is not great, but our points against is pretty solid. I mean, I don't know. They're pretty close to each other. So, I mean, all in all, we've had a pretty good year. We beat both our rivals, Boise State and Utah State, but we lost to Baylor by a bazillion. We lost to Iowa State in overtime. Kansas by nine, who's two and five. That sucks. We did bounce back, though, against West Virginia and Cincinnati. So, we're in a two game winning streak right now. And on the trail, things have gone very well, dude. Coach Jebediah, he's starting to figure things out, man. Like, this is a really good recruiting class so far. Like, we need a lot of depth this year because you guys know the last two recruiting classes have not had that many guys in it. This class, though, has plenty of guys so far. And it's only, like, week 9 or week 10, so there's still plenty of time left. But, yeah, this class is going to be the best class so far in this video. It's not even going to be close. Play a to stay on the road this week? I am terrified. They are a lot better than us, and they're undefeated in the Big 12s. So this game will not be easy, guys. We're going to need a miracle here, Coach Jebediah. Yeah, I am definitely concerned. We're already down seven points and they have this Avery Johnson guy that's very fast and nimble kind of like a coyote so it's been very very scary for the defense I don't see us getting a stop here we'll see okay it's a pass Avery throw pick Avery throw pick what was that? Oh my gosh. I thought that was illegal touching for a second. Apparently not. That's bad. As Michael Scott would say, this is threat level midnight too. We're down 17. We need to convert this fourth down. We'll see if maybe Kaylin could do something cool. Come on, Boudreaux. Can 
Get out of the pocket. Escape. Use your speed. Oh, my. That is so stupid. You cannot be serious, right? Oh, God. That's so dumb. We fell off a cliff, dude. Finish 4 and 8. Do we even win a game for the rest of the season? Oh, my gosh. Thinking about it now, I don't think we did. Oh, my goodness gracious. We lost out the rest of the season. Texas Tech, TCU, Wake Forest, and Houston. Oh, man. I mean, all these teams are pretty good except for Wake Forest, but still, it should have happened, Coach Jebediah. Coach Jebediah is going to be a positive Peter. We got to keep our head high. The recruiting class is so good. I am not exaggerating. This class is ridiculous with the depth like we need a lot of players because we've had a lot of guys walk on the last two years and this class should be able to clean all that crap up dude there's some walk-ons that are atrocious and all these guys are going to take their spots so this class is going to set us up very very nicely for the future players leaving stage all these guys are now officially alumni so whenever somebody asks them where they went to school they'll be like i'm a cougar but they're not cougars because cougars are like attractive old woman i think so yeah these guys are definitely not attractive old woman oh there's tanner right there but yeah i don't really know what i would do in that situation i think i would just say i went to BYU or if I'm a Mormon I just say that I went to the local Mormon school I don't really know how that stuff works but yeah I would not be too proud to be a cougar side days back and it's stressful once again just because we only have 10,000 points if we had 15,000 that'd be nice but coach Jebediah has already gotten fired twice so it's kind of hard to do that but we already have 4,000 points for Trent Lewis 5,000 for Brandon Carraway and then 1,000 for Arthur Gums I just don't have enough points to try and go after Casimir and he's not as good as Brandon or Trent so yeah we'll see what happens if I get these three guys I'll be content I don't know what the problem is, Arthur. We had a lead for you, and now we're in ninth place. Like, I don't really know what changed. We put a 1,000 points into him, so that's unfortunate. We did, though, get Trent Lewis and Brandon Carraway, so we got the two guys that we really wanted. Casimir, we knew we were not going to get that guy. There was just no chance. So that makes this Coach Gemini's third class the video, and it's so good, dude. I'm so happy with it. Like, this class, mark my words, it's going to win a national title. Actually... Should I take that back? Oh, dear. I might have to because I got fired again, so my recruiting next year is probably going to suck, but I don't know. Dude, I got a good feel about this class. Spencer Tucker's really good, even though he's a Juco, which is unfortunate. Trent Lewis, though, and Brandon are both true freshmen, dude. They're so good. Trey Bordeaux, another true freshman. Dennis Webb, Justin McGee. I don't know how that works. There's no U or E. I don't know. That's confusing. Shaquille Logan, Logan Foster. I mean, there's just so much to like. Has to be the highest ranked class of video. Not even close. 46, so a top 50 class. 24-3 three stars just just so much happiness right now man it's training season and my god yee, whoa this team i'm gonna say it. i might be wrong yeah i've been wrong before in my life but it would not shock me if this team can make a playoff and win the Big 12. This team's a lot better than I thought it would be. Oh, man. Good grief. Yeah, we got some talent, dude. Okay, let's back at quarterback. He's up to an 87 overall, 83 speed. I mean, he's just a really good player. It's kind of unfortunate. Like, he's not going to be like a 99 overall because we couldn't redshirt him. But yeah, this guy is still really, really good. He had a good season last year, too. And then at running back, we have some weapons, dude. Bryce Shelby. Thomas Shelby's great grandson. 5'10, 209 from Meridian, Mississippi. And then we got LJ Martin, who has the exact same face as Bryce. A little parent trap situation right there he's 6'2 212 big boy they're two of our best players on the team like we should be able to run and pass the ball very effectively so much for that three and six we suck i don't know what the problem is i i predicted 90 overall i thought we'd be around a 90 overall but the rest of the big 12 apparently is insanely good i did not anticipate that okay i was not nostradamus on that it's my fault the defense has just been horrible dude once again 330 points allowed. that's so bad arizona put up 51 that's uh not good uh utah also beat us in overtime so did west virginia they beat us then we went on a three game winning streak and then we went on a three game losing streaks this team is very bipolar this week though coach jim and die we're playing cincinnati you guys saw they're awful they're even worse than us which is hard to imagine so this has got to be a win oh my goodness guys what kind of crappy start is this dude we're already down 10 points and they have the ball in the freaking red zone already man it's a handoff tackle i missed it and everybody uh that's so bad, man. We are in a really, really bad spot right now. At this point, dude, our defensive corner is a dead man walking. I don't know why our defense is so awful, Coach Jebediah, but we need to get a stop right here. I don't know if it'll happen, but I'm not feeling that great. Come on, guys. Okay, it's a handoff. Tagger, get out there. We're so bad on defense. They're two and six, and we can't stop them to save our lives. This is miserable. Well, at least we're only down seven. We need to try and get a touch right here, though, and we are far, far away from the end zone, so we'll see how that goes. Are you serious right now? Triangle was wide open. I threw it to Triangle, and he threw it all the way to Europe. I tried to throw it to, like, New York, and he launched it all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. Third and one, guys. Okay, they're actually passing, which I did not expect. Defense? Oh, that's gonna be a first down, isn't it? Yeah, EK got the first down. Definitely game over now, dude. God dang it. I'm just gonna sit here and act like I did not 
not say what I just said in the preseason or in the training results came in. Old takes exposed would definitely be all over me right now. I mean, UCF, we lost, and then Houston, we won. It doesn't really matter. We went 4-8 and eight again. We were awful. And on the trail, the class this year sucks. It's not nearly as good as the classes in years past just because Coach Jebediah got fired last offseason, so I had to reinstate him as coach, and his entire skill tree got reset. So, yeah, he is not nearly as good of a recruiter, so this class, it's not going to be good. Eric Wolfie is transferring. Eric Wolf. Nah, it's definitely Wolf. I don't know why there's an E at the end of it, though. It makes me think it's something else. It's definitely Eric Wolf, but yeah, he's going to ULL, which is Louisiana Lafayette. Adios, dude. As for the guys graduate, like, there's some good players here, like Jackson Bowers, Alcia Moa. I mean, like, we had a good team last year. We just could not win games for whatever reason, especially the defensive side of the ball. Like, I really hope that our coordinator got fired. Sunny Day has arrived, and this class is utterly awful. This is what happens when we don't win on the field, guys. Coach Jebediah gets fired twice, and and as I said multiple times in this video, that has screwed us, dude. So, yeah, this class is very, very bad. I mean, Kareem Adams is going to be a superstar, though. 82 overall. DJ Kinner, like, there's some solid players. It's just there's only nine of them, and I needed at least 15 this year. So, yeah, the depth is just not good enough, man. I thought that we'd never be in triple digits again, but here we are. 110th. I did not anticipate us only winning four games this year and last year. How many games did we win last year? Five? It was just was not good enough, dude. Next year, we need to make a bowl game, bro. It has not happened yet, Coach Dippetai. It's just inexcusable. I think it's year five coach Jebediah and we have not even made a bowl game yet and our first three players are all the same face which is very confusing I don't know how exactly that works but yeah I mean it's just been a weird video so far we've not won many games so I'm not gonna put high expectations on this team just make a bowl game that should be reasonable Caitlin's back at quarterback he's only 90 overall this guy has hardly progressed at all during his time on campus I don't know what he's been doing but it has not been football dude as for the defensive side we have a pretty good quarterback duo start with Kendall Bannister I think this guy was a transfer, wasn't he? Yeah, he has the dreads. And then also Tau Frazier, 89 overall, 89 overall. Like, these guys aren't, like, anything amazing, but they're pretty solid players. Finally, Coach Jebediah has some good news, dude. We're 3-0. I'm sure the teams we beat aren't, like, that great, but our points for is really good, so we're scoring a lot. Who did we beat? Wisconsin's not bad. Boise State and Utah State, two rivals. I mean, this is not, like, exactly a murderer's row, but it's also not Cupcake City, so it's a pretty good start. And now, our first Big 12 game of the year, Coach Jebediah, we need to start strong, man. We gotta keep this train rolling. We're 3-0. Let's make it 4-0. And, and for this game against Oklahoma State, we have seven guys visiting, and a lot of these guys are very good at football, especially Robert Gordeen. Sounds like a type of spaghetti. This guy's really good, so we need to try and win this game and get all these guys committed stat. Already up 14th. Things are going extremely well, and we just forced them to a field goal. I hope they miss it. Maybe their kicker is like really trash. Maybe he's a walk or something or coach's son. We'll see. It's up. And he's not the coach's son. Fourth quarter now, we're up 18 points, so we still got a pretty comfy lead. I think if we score a touch right here, it should be game over. Circle? Oh, I can throw that. It's tight window. Let's go! Nice tiptoe, JoJo! Oh, that's such a cool name. I'm jealous of you, JoJo, but that should be game over now. Good job, guys. Good win. Pretty underwhelming. We did not get the spaghetti guy, Robert Gordine. We did get Eric Lede, though, Britton Ford, and Michael Pickering, but I mean, just did not get the spaghetti guy, but yeah, only three commits. I was really expecting more, so that's unfortunate. 8 4, so we're finally going to make a bull game, man. It's been way too long. I mean, we finished fourth in our own division, and it wasn't anything like spectacular this year, but our offense is really good. Just once again, the defense, just yuck. Beat Iowa State, lost to Kansas State. We beat West Virginia, then we lost to Cincinnati, man. They're five and seven, it's a bad loss. Lost to Texas Tech in overtime. Beat TCU, UCF, and then we lost to Houston in overtime. So we lost two overtime games, man. Some more good news is this recruiting class is gonna be very, very good, and it's much needed. You guys all saw the class last year. It was very, very bad. It was abysmal, man. It was just not a class to be proud of, but this class, it's gonna be very comparable to the class two years ago, because this class has a lot of depth and a lot of talent, and I'm loving it, dude. And our first bowl game has us playing the lane train in the Liberty Bowl. Finished 13th of the country, so they just missed the playoffs. Sucks for them, but yeah, boys, let's go get a bull dub. Oh my gosh, dude. We got the SEC weenie. We're down 20 and there's like no time left. So they're going to kick this field goal. I think the only chance we have is blocking this. So I'm going to try and Spider-Man through the middle between the center and the guard. Eh! No, did not work. Yeah, this game's over, bro. We got crushed. Tommy Shelby's great grandson is trying to leave the Mormons. Not happening today, dude. He is staying for another season. He was trying to go in the fourth round, and he decided to come back. I think that was a smart choice for him. As for the guys graduating, there's some solid players down here. I'm kind of shocked none of these guys are going to get drafted, like LJ Martin, the uh, parent trap with uh, Bryce Shelby. I'm kind of shocked nobody's going to get drafted. I mean, Kalen Bordreau is not going to get drafted. Tyler Frazier. I mean, none of these guys are, like, incredible players, like, can't miss prospects, but none of them.
them are horrible. I'm kind of surprised we have not had a single draft pick so far this video yet. 32nd rank class. Ah, oh, it's because we got a freaking four star. We're going to cut this guy. It's probably some kid from Utah that grew up a Mormon that's trying to become a cougar now. Jay France. We'll be sure to cut him. But yeah, it's still a really good class. You guys are going to see. I love it, man. Here it is, man. Feast your eyes at a beautiful class. This is not going to be the best class this video. Like, once we're able to recruit like four and five star recruits, Coach Jabadiah is going to go absolutely ham. But for now, dude, this is almost as good as it's going to get when it comes to recruiting three star players. So I'm really happy with it. Like, we needed it, especially after the class last year. That class was buns. This class is so much better. Devontae Craighead's really good from Arkansas. Uh, Justin Croft, another really good running back. 6'3", tall boy. Eric Lade from Colorado. Jordan Smith. Oh, he's a big man, but he plays coverage, though? That's interesting. Kennedy McGowan, pocket passer. He's also a big guy. 6'6". Six, six. Bretton Ford with two Ts. He's from Idaho. Raekwon Tompkins from Ohio. Another running back. I mean, there's just so much to like about this class. Year six is here for Coach Jebediah, and the team looks good. Now, I'm not going to give this team high expectations, because that just has not gone well for me at all this video, so I'm just going to say this team's going to suck. I would be shocked if this team does good. Little reverse psychology right there. Chestnut checkers. John Cotner's going to be our quarterback. He's a fifth year guy. He has waited his turn, bro. He is a very, very patient butterfly. That's for sure. 81 speed. He's got scrambling ability. He's also from Ohio, even though I've never heard of Sylvania before, but that just is probably me being an idiot. I hate highlighting the same position every year, but it's the best position every year. Bryce Shelby, Thomas Shelby's great grandson. You guys know about him. He's a stud. Also, Greg Rooks, six foot two, sixty-three. Oh dear God. These guys are both very, very big, strong men. Have fun trying to tackle them. And then the running back of the future, Kareem Adams, 6'3", 211 pounds from New Mexico. Coach Jebediah really went to the weeds to find this kid, but he's going to be a stud in the future. Taking a look at the championship contenders this year, they got us at 36. I think we'll be a little bit better than that. We'll see. 91 overall team, 93 offense, 88 defense. Next year, 15, then 12, and then back to 15. So they really think our peak right now is like a top 12 program. I think this next recruiting class we have is going to be very, very important. So we're going to have to ball out on the trail and on the field, Coach Jebediah. Another aim for season, man. I mean, at least we're ranked in the top 25. Like, that's really nice to see. Our offense was ridiculous, but the defense, again, like, looking at the Big 12, the, all the defenses sucked in the Big 12. Wow, we were really a 91 overall, and we lost to 286 overall teams that are ahead of us. That is so disappointing, dude. We were the best team in the Big 12 this year, and we just did not play like it. Who were the losses? We beat Arizona, East Carolina, lost to Boise State, our rival, and Oklahoma State, who's 5-7. and seven. Yuck. Lost to West Virginia by 10, and then TCU by 7. I mean, our defense in those two games were just so bad. At least recruiting's really good once again. This class is really sneaking good. I think it's a lot like the class last year. It's probably a little bit better, like, quality-wise. I think the depth is still really good. Like, this is just another really good loaded class. A lot of these guys will be really good players when they're a redshirt senior or a senior. I mean, top to bottom, I have no complaints, dude. This class has got some studs, even though these top two guys are both Jukas, which sucks, but they're still really good players. Pop-Tarts Bull, let's go. Play Miami 2, Mr. Mario, Cristobal. I'm excited for this, dude. My favorite Pop-Tarts gotta be S'mores. Comment yours down below, although I do like strawberry Pop-Tarts, especially when you put them in the toaster. Those are fabulous. Nobody can score, man. Tight at zero. It's raining too. Kind of a, just a weird situation. Maybe the defense could get a pick six or something. Somebody play defense? Oh, it's open. It's oh my god! <laughs> that was sweet! Oh, he's Caucasian too! Let's go! I don't know who that is, because that was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, dude. I haven't seen much. Like, I watched some astronaut movie where they're in space and they somehow survive, but that tops it, dude. Let's go! That was sweet. Sadly, though, they ended up scoring. I don't know how they did. We have a cyborg at safety, apparently. That guy is insane. But either way, we just need to tie it up right here. X... Oh, it's X, isn't it? That's just too easy, bro. I could have thrown that ball. I mean, probably not because the rain's pouring and stuff, and I don't like being wet, but good job, Bryce Smith. Oh, gosh, it's dark, dude. We're down 10. I mean, we're about to lose another bowl game, aren't we, man? If they get a first start right here, I don't see there's any chance we can win this game. Uh, it's outside. Th oh, I just got flattened. Oh, everybody's getting flat. Dude, do we have any balls? Seriously? Did we get, like, neutered or something? Like a dog? I don't know why we can't get on blocks. Like, we, everybody got pancaked on the screen right there. It was just pancakes left and right. That's just so humiliating. Thomas Shelby's great-grandson is gonna get drafted. Good for you, dude. I think he won the Doak Walker Award, too, which is pretty nice. His stats weren't that great, so I was kind of shocked by that, but good for you. And then also, John is somehow getting drafted. I don't know how, but, eh, good for you, man. As for the graduates, I think that we recruited all these guys, so it sucks 
sucks to say goodbye, but unfortunately, man, moving on, that's just part of life. Another signing class is in the cards, and I love it. I think that Coach Shibadai, he's starting to figure things out, man. You know, back-to-back 8-win -back seasons. It's not like we've really accomplished anything notable. Like, we haven't even won a bowl game yet. It's been pretty underwhelming so far, but, I mean, honestly, the recruiting's going pretty well, so I think the future's definitely bright. KJ Humphrey sucks. He's a Juco, but he's a really good player. Big boy defensive tackle. Chris Hoshik from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. That sounds French to me, like the first part. Coeur d'Alene. Yeah, that's definitely gotta be French. Also, Alexander Peach, Richard Malfon, Luke, Keegan Tisdale. Like, we did a really good job of, like, delegating different positions. Like, all these guys don't play quarterback, so I mean, it's a pretty good balance across the board. I'm happy with it. First impressions of the team this year, it's surprisingly good. Now, I know that I say that too often, and then I get let down, and then I'm surprised when I get let down. It's a constant cycle for Tanner, but I would not be shocked if this is our best team by a pretty considerable margin. Like, I think we could probably be like a 95 overall, 93, somewhere in there. And our new quarterback is going to be Brandon Carraway. I was so excited for this kid when I recruited him, dude. 93 overall. He's only 5'11", so he's not the tallest guy in the world, but yeah, he's not the fastest either. Only 77 speed, but he's just a good quarterback. And then our best player at defense this year is Brendan Ertel. Yeah, that's definitely right. From Wyoming, Thermopolis. That's a sweet name, dude. Six foot, 243, 86 speed. He's actually like not bad in coverage either. He's got pretty good excel. 94. This guy could come up and smack you in the face. He can also defend some tight ends. Like this guy is pretty good to have in the middle of your defense. Preseason AP poll. We are sitting right at 28th in the country. Interesting. As you guys can see, we're 95 overall. So definitely the best team we've had so far this video. I don't think this team's going to go 16 and 0 by any means, but look at the teams ahead of us. Like we're better than them or most of them, except for Texas A&M. They're insane, but yeah, man. I don't see why this team can't make the playoff this year. Now, knowing us and what we do, you know, we choke a lot. We probably won't make the playoff, but I don't see why we couldn't. Perfection so far, boys. 4-0, 1-0 in the coverage. The points for us, pretty solid. Yeah, 153. And the points against, also pretty solid as well. I mean, we're just dominating right now. It's good football. Were any of these games close? Not Utah State, not Boise State, not Nevada, that's for sure. Kansas, though, they only lost to us by four, so that game was definitely close. As for recruiting, it's gone incredibly well so far, too. As you guys can see, we already have, what, one, two, three, four, five, seven commits in the class, and it's only like week five or something. So yeah, this recruiting class, once again, it's gonna be really, really good. This week, though, we're going on the road to play Baylor. I don't really know what to expect. They are undefeated, so I'm kind of scared on that aspect, but we are the better football team, so we just need to go out there and play like it. Oh, gosh, dude, we're up too late in the game. I was hoping this game would be a lot less stressful, but it is fourth down. All we need to do is just get a stop right here. Tackle! Fuller! Tackle! Let's go! Wait, I turn over, right? Yeah, that's our ball. Okay, yeah, we won the game, boys. Good job, guys. Did not win out, finished 10-2, and two, and of course, we did not win the Big 12 either. We lost to TCU, really. 88 overall, we're in 95. That's disappointing. I mean, our points for was better than TCU, so it was our points against. It looks like we just sucked that game or something. 3-9 and nine West Virginia, guys. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, the other game was TCU. We almost lost to Houston, but man, losing to 3-9 and nine West Virginia. Coach Jebediah. Playing Alabama in the first round, they're the 10. I don't like this matchup for us at all. I'm sure they have more talent than us, even though they've already lost three games, but that was in the SEC. So yeah, this will not be easy. Well, we're not getting blown out, which is nice. We're down three in the second quarter. If they could miss this kick though, because this is pretty far, that would be really, really helpful to the cause. It's up and it's a short. No, it's good. They have a good kicker. Dang it. The offense drove right back down the field. We got a chance to take the lead here before half. Do we got to capitalize? I'm feeling pretty good with the run right here. We just got to make sure we cut it back. Because we have reinforcements on the inside. Yeah, there we go! That's a big boy, man. Kareem Adams is a tall drink of water. Good job, boys. Oh, gosh. This is bad, dude. We're down five in the fourth quarter. I think if they get a first down... It might be game over. I think it might already be game over. I don't really know. We just need to try to get a fumble or something. Come on, Ertle. Strip. 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 Ertle. No, I tried stripping and I got... Are you serious? Did that really just happen? I tried stripping and I got shafted into the turf. Yeah, all well, this game's over, dude. I mean, at least we put up a good fight, but we had a chance to win, dude. We just choked in the second half. Players leaving stage. We got three guys coming back. I'm so happy, dude. Kareem Adams, this guy is such a stud. Same with Brandon Caraway, and then also Ryan Otto. Like, these guys are selfless people, so I appreciate all you guys. These guys definitely, like, give the charity to the homeless. They probably have, like, 10 adopted dogs. Like, these guys are all very, very nice people. Brandon Ertle's the only graduate that's gonna get drafted, though, which is kind of shocking because we got some decent guys like max gentry trayvon fleming a 97 overall kicker i mean there's some 90 overalls down here i mean we were definitely recruited all these guys so it's sad to say goodbye but 
That's just part of life. Sunny days here, and it's one of those years where I guess it's somewhat stressful. I mean, I, I feel fairly confident we can get these three guys at the top. I'm just kind of worried about these guys at the bottom. I just don't have enough points. I'd really like to get Jim A, because I love his name, but also we need an offensive lineman. Vidal Baldwin, kind of the same thing here. So we'll see if we can all fire these guys. I doubt it, but it'd be nice. Crud. We missed out on Vidal and Jim A. Oh, man, he's going to UCLA. I don't really blame him, though. I've never been to UCLA or California in general, but I'm sure it's a very beautiful place. But we did get a mod, Mason, and Dakota. Dakota, though, so that's cool. So that makes this a recruiting class this year for Coach Jim and Dye, 18 man hall. I don't think this is the best class we've signed so far this video, but I mean, it's still really studly. Like, there's plenty of good players on it. And next year, for once, we can finally go after four and five star recruits. So, Coach Jim and Dye, man, he's about to have the whole war chest in his hands. He's going to have no restrictions. It's going to be a beautiful sight to see. Cole Nelson was a clutch pickup. Also, Taylor Timothy. We really needed defensive tackles this year, so he's clutch there. Darrell Palmer, Lonali Nahapali from Hawaii, definitely. He's a Juco. Ahmad Lacey, Braylon Cooper, Roman Foreman. Like, we needed linebackers and defensive linemen and offensive linemen. And I feel like we did a decent job at addressing that. 70th ranked class, man. Only one spot away from 69. Fresno State took our spot. But next year, like I said, we can go after four and five star recruits. So this is definitely gonna be the lowest ranked recruiting class for the rest of this video. So I'm happy about that. But I still love our haul. Oh my goodness, dude. The offense is gonna be insane. Look at Kareem Adams, Brandon Caraway, and Ryan Otto, dude. This guy's 5'9, 224, and he's a speed receiver. That does not make any sense. But for the rest of the team we got some good defensive players too. like this team should be pretty balanced now i don't think this team is gonna be like a 99 overall this is probably not gonna be the team that goes 16 and over this video but this team should definitely be able to win like a playoff game brad is back at quarterback 511 204 97 overall 78 speed i feel like he played pretty good last year honestly it's just you know he's not like the most talented guy in the world he's only 511 and he doesn't have like game breaking speed but he's still really stinking good quarterback there's no doubt about that and as you guys know he's got playmakers man cream adams is back he'll probably leave us next year or this year i should say if i would not be surprised if that happens. We also got Ryan Otto at receiver, dude. This guy's a stud. 5'9", 224. It's definitely a little bit weird. I don't know how the physics works right there, but he's got 94 speed. Like I said, it's just a little odd. He's kind of got like a running back build, being really short, really stocky with good speed, but he's a receiver, man. As for the schedule this year, per usual, playing Utah State, playing them every single season. Also got Kansas, Kansas State, Baylor, Boise State, West Virginia. I mean, there's only two ranked teams on our schedule, guys, like TCU and Houston. I really want to win the Big 12 this year. I don't think that's asking for too much either. Coach Jemadai, baby, 9-1. and one. I'm not going to get too happy because we did lose the game and it looks like it was in the Big 12. So, I mean, our offense has been really good. So is the defense. But the rest of the Big 12 was just so bad. This is what I said would happen, dude. I mean, it's just awful. I mean, all these teams suck. Be Utah State, Virginia, really. 2-7 and seven Kansas, guys. Oh, my goodness, dude. At least we beat Baylor, who's ranked. I mean, our schedule is just not challenging. The best team we've played was Baylor and we only beat them by three. So, I don't really know what to think. I mean, clearly we're talented. We have a 99 overall team and we scored 66 against Boise State, which is sweet, but yeah, man, we're still very, very unproven. And on the recruiting side of things, we've lost a five-star recruit to Alabama. Uh, sucks for Coach Jim and Dye losing a head-to-head -head battle against Coach Saban, but it is what it is. For the guys we have committed, though, it's elite, dude. 85 overall, 80. The offensive line is like the weakness of the team right now. Like, our offensive tackles aren't that great, so yeah. Addressing that with their recruiting should definitely help us out, but yeah, a lot of these guys are four- and five-star recruits, so I think it's definitely gonna be a really good recruiting class this year. This week, though, we're taking on Oklahoma State, Coach Gundy. I'm really not that scared because they're not that high of an overall, but they are undefeated, so I'm sure it won't be that easy. Looks like Brandon's hurt, which is pretty depressing, but there's no excuses. We should still be able to win this game. We have a good backup quarterback. Is this going to be a touchdown? Oh my god, I think it might be. Let's go! I told you we have a good backup quarterback, Daniel Kafusi. Up eight. Hasn't exactly been a blowout yet, but it is somewhat early in the game. Kennedy's doing his thing, though, man. The offense has been doing pretty well. Triangle? Is that going to be a touchdown? Block! Get out there! Let's go! Dude, we have so many white receivers. Actually, I think that was a tight end, but good job, Shane. Wasn't exactly the blow I was hoping for, but I mean, the good news is we're up nine points. So all we really need to do is just get a first down right here, and then the game's over. Come on. Yeah, there we go. See, easy peasy. Good job, Kareem. Yeah, that's game over, boys. Good W, man. So we beat Houston 49 to 16 to finish the season 11 to 1 this year. Number two in the country as well. So we're definitely doing a good job. 8 1 in the conference this year. 513 points scored. Really good defense. Just all around good football. But it's not really that impressive. Like I said, the Big 12 is awful. Only took us eight years, Coach Jebediah, but we're finally in the Big 12 title game playing Oklahoma State again. I'm not really worried. I mean, we beat them on the road by double digits. We should be able to take care of business at home. 
Uh, I don't know what's going on. We're down seven. We have not scored a touchdown yet. That needs to change right here, guys. I don't know what the problem is, but we need to fix it. It's gonna be a touchdown. Get to the edge. Get to the edge. Get to the edge. Get to the edge! <laughs> All right, guys, stop sucking. Let's win this game, please. Just wonderful, dude. We could not beat them in regulation, so now we're in overtime, tied at 24. Let's get a touch right here, and then let's get a stop defense. I believe. Touchdown! Let's go! Okay, just get a stop, guys. Stop sucking. I don't know what the problem's been today, but defense, wake up. Put on your big boy pants. Pull up your jack straps. Let's go. Need a tackle. Or miss it. Are you serious? I'm sad. Come on, defense. Do something good for once in your life. Please. Oh, no. He's so... Oh, okay. Offense, we need you to bail us out because the defense just sucks. We're going for two if we score a touch right here. Such a horrible situation, man. It's fourth and 15. I don't know what to do. I'm just praying that we can somehow convert this. Please, someone get open. Circle. Circle. Rayado. Rayado. Oh, it's Ryan Otto. I'm, I messed that up. I found you that. My fault. Ryan, I'll get your name right the next time. I'm sorry, buddy. All right, go for two. X. X. Let's go! He caught it! I thought he was in trouble for a second. Let's go! Finally, Coach Jemadai, we win a Big 12 championship, man. It's not, you know, a 16-0 season yet, but this is definitely going in the right direction, boys. Let's go, man. Wow, a little upset there. Baylor takes down Texas by one. We're playing them in the second round. I'm really not, like, that scared of Baylor. Maybe I should be, but I don't, I don't feel scared. Side of seven of the second quarter has not gone the way I was hoping, and I just remembered that Brandon's hurt for the season, so yeah. Defense, we each just step up right here. Oh, my God. He broke it. To Are you for realsies right now? Oh, my gosh, dude. Okay. Well, at least we got the lead now. We're up seven, and we got a chance to extend this bad boy. Just need to nail this field goal. Come on. Please don't shake this tanner. You've done this before. Perfect. Our kicker's not that good. That looked very wobbly. Did not like seeing that. Fourth quarter now. We're up 18 points. It's fourth and four. I think the, the writing's in the well. Just going to stop right here, guys, and it should be for sure game over. Yeah, tackle, 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 tackle. Short. Short. Let's go! I thought for a second he was going to advance, but no, he was a little stupid right there. Good job, boys. Moving on to the semis. Army, the service academy, dude. Talk about upsets. Beat USC in the first round, then they smacked Texas A&M in the second round. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. I'm terrified. Down three early. Kind of sad and disappointing, but like I said, it's early. We'll be okay. Circle. I think I get away. Patience is key. We're trying to succeed. Let's go, Avery. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll rhyme too. I feel like Eminem. Late in the game, we have a lead, which is nice. We're up four, but they have the ball last, which is not exactly ideal. They do run the triple option, though, so hopefully they can't pass that good. I'm very scared. They can't pass the ball, guys. The receivers suck. The receivers suck. Let's go. I told you, dude. Service Academy. They love a triple option. The receivers did not get separation. Let's go, boys. Out of the natty. Not much of a shocker. Georgia took down Syracuse. Not shocking at all. This is not going to be an easy game. They're 14-1. Very, very good. They're number one seed, so yeah, this game's going to be tough. Down 7 of an early, which is unfortunate. It's also raining in the stadium, so definitely a bizarre situation, but we just need to get a touch right here tie this game up. I don't know. I fit with this four vertical. Play. I just hope it works. Oh, did it work? It did! Uh, do not question Coach Jebediah's play calls. Let's go, Avery! Great spot to be in, boys. We're starting to figure things out. Up seven, taking it to the SEC. Just need to score again right here. Get a little bit more separation. Time is running down. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick! Gotta be quick! Let's go! There's the 5'9 running back at receiver. Good job, Ryan. Okay, guys, here it is. One second left. All we need to do is just make this kick. I'm not feeling that confident because our kicker kicked one earlier and it's very wobbly, but it's from like 19 yards away. It is ice though, but there's no excuses. Come on, Bordner. Come on, buddy. We don't need the accuracy. Actually, we need the accuracy. We don't need the power. Let's go. There we go, Coach Jemadiah. The first national championship of this video. Clearly, we need at least one more because, like, the point of this video is to go 16 and 0, and this is 15 and 1. So we still lost the game. So Coach Jemadiah has unfinished business. Cream's off to the NFL. He's leaving us early. It's a sad day on that aspect, but I mean, he didn't leave college on a high note, winning the national title. Then Dakota Hodge is transferring. It's kind of just like, yeah, I mean, he's all right, 71 overall. I like to keep him, but it is what it is. As for the guys grabbing graduating that are going to get drafted. Brandon Caraway, I'm still shocked we won the Natty without him. Like, he was so good, and we just won it without him anyway, but yeah, man, it sucks to say goodbye to all these guys, but at least they get to end their college career with a Natty. As for the guys that won't get drafted, you got Lamont Scott, David Pierce, Jeremiah Lewis, Patrick Fuller. I mean, it sucks they won't get drafted, but like I said, they leave in college with a Natty, so that's cool. Beautiful top 10 recruiting class for Coach Jebediah. We're up to a six-star. Wait, is that six? Yeah, it's six-star team prestige, man. Two five-stars, seven four-stars. We still got a good bit of three-stars, but all in all, I 
love the class. And this is the class. We got a stud quarterback for the future. Some offensive linemen because we really needed to hit up the trenches. And after watching Michigan play Penn State yesterday, I just felt like it was only right, baby. We also got some linebackers down here, but mostly we needed offensive line. And this guy's name is Momo, which is awesome. Yeah, so all in all, dude, I love our class. Chandler Danielson's really good from Texas. Uh, Melvin Ward, we had to beat out Wake Forest, Boston College for him. Ali, now it's Eli Delgras, so I don't know why I said Eli. I'm an idiot. John Kitchen, Brandon Hampton, Justin Vadine, Oren Davis, some strong safety, big boy, 6'3", 6 6'4". 6 I love it. I believe it's year nine for Coach Jebediah, and two of our three best players are a punter and a kicker, so that sucks. I honestly think the team is better than the team last year, and you may be like, Tinner, no, they're not. Well, depth-wise, and like throughout the roster, like there's not as many weaknesses as last year, but the last year's team had a lot more quality. Like we had like a 97, a 98, and a 99 last year. I just overall is 95, and he's a punter. And Kennedy's back at quarterback. This guy won us a natty last year. He's 6'6", 229. Can't really run, though. Kind of a statue in the pocket. Very unfortunate, but he's a very good player. As for defense this year, our strength is definitely the secondary. We got this Aaron Gordon guy. Isn't that the guy that's in the NBA? I think it's the same name yet. 95 speed. He's only a sophomore. This guy's really good. And then we also got a free safety, Chris Hoshek, the Frenchman from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. 91 speed. I mean, he's a good player. I mean, these guys in the secondary, both very, very solid. Well, fudge. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I clearly did not think this would happen, but it did. We sucked this year. 9-3, and 6-3 and three in the Big 12. I mean, our offense was good. Our defense was all right, I guess. I don't know what the problem was. I thought this team would be better than the team last year. Clearly, I was wrong. We're only in 97 overall. Like, we're definitely better than the rest of our division, but it just did not seem to matter, man. Oh, goodness. Cincinnati's a 79 overall. Could you imagine if we lost to them? That'd be funny. Who were the three culprits? Well, barely beating Boise State, who's 3-9 in overtime. I guess that was a sign of things to come. We did lose. Yeah, there it was. Baylor and West. Virginia back-to-back -back weeks. Our defense was just so putrid. Beat Cincinnati, Texas Tech, and then TCO. So, lost TCO again. We've lost them too much this video, man. But then after that, we won the last two games. Well, the bright side is we found an absolute monster. Jalen Green, 94 overall three-star recruit. Not a four-star, not a five-star. We are literally competing with Fresno State and UNLV for this. He's a 94 overall, bro. Oh, he's gonna be so good. 99 throw power. Oh, uh, yes. Dude, this is like our Josh Allen, basically. I mean, he's not 6'5", but he's from Nevada, which is around where where Josh Allen was from. He's a 94 overall three-star, dude. That's a gem. And the rest of the class is studly, too. Michael Davis, a five-star, 6'2", 253. I'm in love. Oh, man. This is so beautiful. This recruiting class is so good, dude. I just, I could not be happier right now. I cannot express this enough. Tanner is a very, very happy camper. So is Coach Jebediah, dude. He gets to play with all these toys, like a little kid at Toy Store. That's right, Toys R Us. I forgot. That place went bankrupt, didn't it? So sad, man. Places like that go bankrupt thanks to freaking Walmart. But yeah, man, this class is awesome. Playing the Kitty Cats in the Big 12 title game, it's snowing too, which is very awesome. I love seeing that. It's actually an away game for us, even though we beat them in the regular season, so that's kind of interesting, but yeah. Let's just try to go back-to-back -back for the Big 12 title, boys. The defense, dude, they're balling out. They built their own wall. I think Donald Trump would be proud of that, but regardless, dude, we used to get seven right here. Let's make this a two-score game on Kennedy. X, corner out. Yep, tight end corner out. Too easy. Let's give, give out. Jeff Jake. I'll be honest, I think the writing's on the wall on this one. We're up 13 with less than two minutes left, but I think a first down would for sure seal the deal on this bad boy. Cut it back. Get a first down. Nice! Fight for me! Let's go! Good job, buddy. Yeah, that should be GG's, boys. Back-to-back -back Big 12 times. Good job, Taekwon. I like Cheez-Its, but we're playing Louisiana. They went 9-3 and three in the Sun Belt, and they're somehow ranked. I just don't see us lose this game. What is Mr. Lee? Cor yeah, why he has left? He's got ULL winning this game, dude. Look at the freaking overall rating. It's not even close. This should be a blowout, man. I'm just going to simulate this. Hopefully next year we can maybe go 16 to no, but for whatever reason, this year was just not our year, man. Oh my, are you serious right now? This is what I'm talking about, dude. Just disappointment. How did we lose? They were like a B. We're like an A plus, man. Uh, that's just... Players leaving stage. We got four guys that are probably pissed off after what happened this year. I mean, I still don't get like how we suck so much. Like we're 97 overall and we lost four games. One of them to Louisiana Lafayette. I still can't get over that. As for the graduates that will get drafted, you got one, two, three, four, five, five guys. Yeah. Sucks that you guys are leaving with losing to Louisiana in your final game, but it's not my fault. I don't know what happened. As for the graduates, we got some decent players down here, but none of them are going to get drafted, including DJ Kenner at 92 overall. That's shocking. Got Jake Gilbert graduating at tight end, so there's definitely some good players are going to miss. Side days arrived, and I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just putting 5,000 into the top three guys, mostly because they're all 80 plus overall, and they're all on defense, and we really need some defensive help, so yeah. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. These three guys, I doubt we get any of them, but if we do, I guess that's a nice little cherry on top of the Sunday. Torian Goldwire just decided 
decided not to come here, even though we have a big lead for him. Maybe he'll become a hippie or join a pack of wolves. I don't really know what he's thinking there. I guess it is what it is. We did not get Tyre or Don, though. He's going to Texas a and Looks like they put a lot of points to that kid, so that blows. But we did get Kenny Jones and Trent James, so we went two for three, and the rest of the guys, just no. No chance. Did not get Isaac or Mr. Jeff. So this is the class this year for Coach Jebediah, and I love it so much. It's so beautiful. It's so sexy. I love it, man. Happiness exists, and I am witnessing it and feeling it right now. It's so awesome, man. Jalen Green, it's been well documented how happy I am to have this guy. Is he going to start year one? Probably not because Kennedy's coming back, but he will definitely be a player early on for us. That's for sure. Michael Davis, you guys know about him. A big bowling ball at running back. 6'2", 253, mother of God. Also, Ryan Denlinger. We need a defensive tackle. Kenny Jones, Trent James, Travis Cardiello. Like, we needed running backs this cycle, and we needed some defensive players, and we did a great job addressing both, man. That's for sure. Got to be a top five class, right? Yeah. Number three in the country, two five stars, nine four stars, 11 three stars. Man, we did lose a team star prestige, which is pretty sad, but I mean, that's what happens when you lose to Louisiana Lafayette, so not really shocking there. You know, I said how last year's team was the best team we've had so far this video. Well, I was definitely wrong because it was only 97 overall compared to the team prior that was a 99, but this team makes both those teams look like trash. This team is phenomenal, dude. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm liking what I'm seeing, Coach Jebediah. Kennedy's back at quarterback. I really want to start Jalen Green, but... Kennedy won a national title for us, bro. He's trying to get his second one of his college career, 96 overall. You guys know about him. He's a good player. I like him a lot. And then the best position group on the team, it's not even a debate. You got Tyquan Bynes at running back, Justin Croft, and Raekwon Tompkins, dude. 95 overall, 95 overall, 98 overall, and then our fourth string running back is a 92 overall, Timmy Couch. Like, our running back room is just ridiculous. Preseason polls, where are we at? We shouldn't be that low, right? Like, top 10? No, definitely not top 10. Oh, number 12. Yeah, we have the best team in college football, though. It looks like A plus across the board, especially even special teams. Let's go. I'm curious if anybody else is A plus across the board. LSU, but we have a little bit of a better offense. Is there anybody that's like a 99 across the board in the top 10? No. So we have the best roster in college football. It's just about executing and go 16-0 now, Coach Jebediah. Week one, we destroyed Utah State. 61-27, our rival. We just took them to the woodshed, dude. Gave them a little spanking. And this week, we're playing Army because, like, the rest of our schedule is just not nearly as good as Army is this year. Uh, yeah, TCU is ranked 18th, but besides that, no other team is in the top 25. So, yeah. Week two, we're taking on Army. And for this game against Army, we have nine guys visiting. I mean, these guys are all pretty good players, especially Keyshawn Oliphant. We really need need a tight end. This guy's a stud, so we just need to go out there and leave a very good first impression because first impressions are very important, or at least that's what my mommy tells me. So guys, just go out there and execute, please. So far, it's been the spanking we were hoping for, boys. Up a lot of points. 11. I mean, things are just going so well right now. Let's score again right here. Kennedy, come on. Kennedy, into the F. Can you it? Let's go! I really was hoping that we would destroy them. Has that happened? We're up a lot of points, though. We just need to get a stop right here to put this game away officially. Oh, it's a handoff. They're really running. Are you... I, I feel bad because, you know, in that situation, you'd think they'd pass. But then again, they are a triple option team. Either way, it doesn't matter, dude. We pulled out the W. Good job, boys. We won out the rest of the season as expected, at least in my opinion, because our schedule is really easy. 12-0, 9-0 in the Cavs. Really good points for it. Even better points against, in my opinion. But like I said, the Big 12 is just not very good. I was not sure shocked that we went undefeated. I was not worried about the Big 12 schedule. It's more of the playoff than anything. I'm really just curious if there are any close games. Uh, oh, West Virginia only by five. Texas Tech only by three. So besides that, every other game was double digits, but it's not like we were invincible, like Superman or anything like that. We definitely had some close games. And the recruiting class this year is already in the books. We don't have a single guy left on the board that is not committed. These guys are all studs. What's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think. 80 plus overalls if you count our kickers. So really happy about about that but yeah top to bottom best class so far as video probably back in the big 12 title game i would play this if we were not playing a six and six oklahoma state is this really the best team in the big 12 other division i mean that's just pitiful man i should not get like too ahead of myself though because we did lose to Louisiana lafayette like two years ago in the bowl game when i was hyping us up but we'll see what happens we should win this by a landslide and we do 45 to 14 never a doubt just domination boys let's go man moving on to the playoff didn't think that louisiana tech would beat Syracuse, but maybe I should have because I mean they were the seventh seed, but ten and two in conference.
to it say i think i don't know how they're ranked so high like this should be an easy win i maybe i'm just overconfident but this should be a walk in the park oh dear this game's a lot closer than i thought it would be dude we're only up five points i mean the bright side is we just need a first start here and then it should be ggs i like this opening on the right side oh yep yeah, that's a first down that might be a touchdown swerve no not a, not a touchdown but a first down for taquan and it should be ggs now played texas in the semis i'm not feeling good about this one guys i'm not gonna lie after how we played against louisiana tech they're like an 81 overall and we barely beat them i'm not feeling too great but who knows maybe we'll play better this game at least i hope so but defensive dogfight dude nobody can score we're tied at zero i mean the good news is we're gonna draw first blood right here i just need to make this kick should go up and through we have a pretty good kicker too right yep Pew, yeah, let's go, boys. Good start. Finally, guys, we got a chance to score right here. We're up three still, so a decent spot. Can make it a two-possession game. Come on, Kenny. Hand off. Up the middle. Fight for me. Let's go. Good job, boys. Up 10 now. Oh, it's beautiful, too. We're up 10 inside the 10-yard line. All we need to do is just punch it right here. Put this game away. Come on, boys. Let's get onto the natty. X. X. Corner out. Let's go. Yeah. Out of the natty. Good job, Britton Ford. Playing Ole Miss in the natty. They took down my Wolverines. So, not very nice of those jerks. But either way, boys, this is our chance to go 16 and 0. We need to capitalize. Is this corner out going to get it open for me? Oh, it might be. Nope. Nope. Not open. Is it open now? Yes, it is. It bounced. Let's go, Brent Ford. Brent with two T's, baby. Let's go, guys. Good start. The defense is balling out, dude. They still haven't scored. We're up 14. I mean, things are looking very, very good. Circle? No X. Brent Ford. Brent and Ford. Oh, that's not Brent Ford. I'm used to him being X. I'm an idiot. It's BJ Smelter, our backup tactic. Jeff BJ. Oh, BJ. It's a fun name. It also means something else. Just dominant, man. Up 25 in the fourth quarter. It's crazy that our toughest game is going to be against Louisiana Tech. I mean, it's fourth down. Just going to stop right here and we can partay for a natty. Come on. Throw a pick. Throw a pick. Yep, pick. Let's go. Six going six. Other way. Other way, baby. Other way. Let's go. Coach Gemini is going to go 16 and 0. Let's go, boys. The Mormons. Yeah. There we go. Coach Gemini from 0 and 12 to 16 and 0. It might have taken us, what, 10 or 11 years. I don't know how long, but you know what, dude? It was worth the wait. This team was so freaking dominant. I still can't get over the fact that our toughest playoff game was against Louisiana Tech. I don't know what happened that game, but it doesn't matter, boys. Let's go. Early on, things were quite bumpy. I don't even think we won a bowl game until like year eight. We even won the Big 12 until year eight i think yeah things early on were not great but eventually though for coach debit die after a little bit of a disappointing 10 and 4 season in year nine year 10 we went 16 and 0 even though it's glitched out you guys all saw it so stupid but either way coach debit die we got the job done if you enjoyed click the video on the screen where i gave north korea a college football team i think you'll love it